I can't believe I'm going to say this, but I'm going to make liver and onions in the pressure cooker. That was one thing when I was a little kid that I really didn't like. It was the worst thing. But it smelled so good. My grandmother would make it. It smelled so good. And I tried to eat it, which I had to eat it because I had to eat everything that I was given. And it just had a, such a weird texture and taste. I don't know. But... 50 some years later, I'm gonna try it again in the pressure cooker. And I'm gonna soak this in a bag in milk overnight. Because I've been reading about it and that's what some people do. It takes uh, the tanginess or the bitterness, whatever they say. Wait a minute now. All right, it's most different today than it did back in 1960 something. Okay, so this was uh, one and a half pounds and it cost $2.21. And we figured maybe that's why we had it a few times when we were young because we didn't have that much money. All right, the pieces, okay. You can also put this in a bowl and soak it in milk like that. I'm going to touch this. Let me see. Tender. Alright, well, I didn't know if I was going to cut it up more, but maybe not, right? Kind of seems to be sliced. I ain't scaring you, am I? I'm going to reach my fingers off. Oh. <laughs> Pressure cooker, which one should I use? This the pot? Go wise? Cook's Essentials? Cuisinart? Icock? Maybe it's the pot, huh? Alright, I'm gonna put some milk in here. Maybe a little more. You do this for two hours or overnight. I'm going with overnight because it's in the last night right now. Okay? Looking better already, huh? <laughs> then I'm going to take them, dry them off somewhat. Oh, first I'm going to saute my big white onion slices and butter with the saute function. And while that's sauteing, I'm going to dry these off somewhat and dredge them through flour and throw them in there for about three minutes, maybe, on high pressure. Okay. I'm going to see if that brings back some memories. <laughs> All right. See you then. Okay, it's the next day, and these have marinated overnight in milk. You might remember I did that. I'm going to set my Instant Pot on sauté. I'm going to use the high setting there. Take off our lid for saute mode. I'm going to add some butter. As much as I want, or you could use oil if you want, olive oil. Crisco, my grandma used to use. Let's make it warm, and uh, in the meantime, I'm going to cut up this big white onion. Okay? Right back when I cut that up. This might be the smell that I love, the butter and the onions. <laughs> we'll see. We want these to be somewhat translucent. A couple minutes. Oh, in the meantime, I'm gonna put some flour in a bowl and take my liver out of the bag. This bowl and the dish set that I'm gonna use today is actually from my grandmother used to make this recipe. Isn't that amazing? And my silverware. But they used to get these plates when they went to the movies back in the 40s. You know, every week they give them a different plate or a gravy boat or something like that. That's historical and I 
always remember eating off of these plates and bowls. It makes it extra special. And I do have a newer set of dishes, but I just like using these. <laughs> okay, let me take a piece of this. One by one, I'm going to take these out with a fork or a pair of tongs, maybe. How's the onion doing? Get in there. Sure smells good. Put a little salt and pepper in there. Why not? Spice it up a little. Whee! Sea salt, some ground black pepper. Chunky. Mm. We don't only eat with our mouth and our eyes, we eat with our noses. <laughs> Let me get some liver out. I'm not going to cut this, this was already sliced. Can you see some of this? Put it in there. I have a cup of beef stock. I'm going to add to these onions that are pretty much how I like them. And as I dredge my liver slices through the flour, I'm going to place them in there. And this flour towards the end will make a nice gravy. You know that? Remember when I said we probably eat this more often because it was low priced and it's like two dollars now imagine what it was in the 60s it was probably 50 cents right so it was a good high energy high iron iron meal for less than a dollar back then all right i'm going to keep coating my liver get them in there i bet it's going to be good i bet if you didn't tell me this was liver I sat down and ate it. I'd like it more than if I thought it was liver. <laughs> Let me turn off my saute mode right now. Okay. I'll be back when I get these all coated up. I'm making a little bit of a mess, but that's okay. I'll clean it up <laughs> when I start the cooking process. What's we got left? And that's it. Yeah, look how nice they're going to be. I'm starting to like liver. <laughs> I'm sure you grew up the same way a lot of people here watching. Maybe you didn't like it, maybe you loved it, maybe you love it now. But we're going to see if my taste changed. Alright, let me clean this off a little bit so I can seal the liquid. <laughs> it's only flour! <laughs> Hold that up, stick it down in there, see? Clean! Now, yesterday, what did I say? Last night, three minutes. Make sure you're in sealing mode on top here, which I am. Come down here and press manual. And I'm gonna go three minutes on high pressure. If you don't have a manual setting, pick something else like meat and go down. Now this can be made in any pressure cooker. It doesn't have to be an instant pot. Okay, there we go. The pressure should build up quicker because it's already warm in there. And I'm gonna be eating soon. Let me clean up my mess. Be back. Time's up. That was a fast three minutes. And I do have a little whiff of that familiar smell. Well, let's pressure out, okay? Woo! Back a couple minutes. It's almost out. Sometimes I put a towel here to protect my cabinet. You know, lightly block the steam a little bit. But if you don't have a cabinet or real close, don't worry about it. Mmm, over here in the safety safety drop back there. We're ready. What's it gonna be like? I saw it. You wanna see it? Looks flowery. Hmm. Yeah, that's the flower coating on there. Okay. Oh, look, it's falling apart. 
Look, it just fell apart. Did I say that already? I'm going to get enough for my plate right now. And I'm going to get some onions down the bottom. I got some taters on the side there. Yeah, I can do. Let me get some onions now. Flavor and onions. Do smell good. Okay. Okay. Mmm. I have to say it's tender. Come over here. You gotta take a taste. Remember I said this makes a nice gravy down the bottom? Nice and thick. Put in my famous gravy boat. I could bring this all out into a big bowl, but I'm in a hurry just for my supper. <laughs> I'm excited. Wrapped up. Taters on the side. You can put peas, green beans, whatever you like. Mmm. Bread butter. Got my butter melting there. Some creamy gravy. Oh. Piece of onions in there. Should I try to cut this or just try it with a fork once? See how tender it is. Try butter knife. Butter knife. <laughs> Here we go. First time in about 50 years. Not that I'm that old, but. Hmm. It has a similar texture, I remember, but a lot more dissolving in the mouth. The same taste is there, which I haven't had all those years. Hmm. Not bad. The flour has a creaminess to it. Like the coating. If you like liver and onions, try that for three minutes. Wasn't it easy? If you don't, just watch me eat it. <laughs> it's high in iron and vitamins, and it's inexpensive. I'm eating it. Mm hmm. Any pressure cooker, doesn't have to be an instant pot. good all right thanks for watching me thanks for stopping by please subscribe and try this if you like it or try something else have a nice day bye <laughs>